Hello guys, I'm here and I am Xander's Pokemon cards. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you my small, or a bit of my card collection. I'm going to split this up into multiple parts just because this will take probably, I think it'll take like half an hour. And my dad told me just to go like about 10 minutes per video so i'll listen to him and i'll try that but i'm going to be showing you one coin that i currently have just here right now and i'm also going to show you some other things so i have my one coin um my one coin all, all the way over there and i have other cards over there but I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to grab this tin. This is a Latios tin, which is very special to me, for one reason. I really like the artwork. It has Rayquaza, or Quaza, however you say it, Latios, and Hoopa. Also, here it shows Latios, Hoopa, and Rayquaza, or Quaza, however you say it. So, this will be my background, and I will try and do a background like a... Um, Pokemon card YouTuber that I watch, his name is Primetime Pokemon, he just sets up a lot of tins, um, facing this way, sets up a lot of tins, and then it's really nice looking, he basically sets up a wall, for now my background is black cardboard, but that's fine. So, let me just show you one other thing, my little Pikachu toy, it's very, very cute. So, let's go. Let's start off with my one coin. Right now. I have multiple coins, but this is the only one I can find, just because I set this up in about an hour. But it's really nice. It's a Mega Gengar coin. Um, so, it's a really cool looking coin. I'm going to set everything back where I put it, because this is actually my third time trying to do this properly because the thing either messed up or there was too much of a glare on it so this time i turned off the light got another light so we're good to go and next up we, i'm going to show you stages and evolutions so i have a litten here Torcat, and incineroar litten is basic Torcat is stage one incineroar is stage two which i'm pretty sure in the game you just lay down your litten card and you're like oh wow i have Torcat in my hand Lay that down on top, I think. Now, I'm not sure, because I do not actually play the Pokemon TCG. But in the game, it's quite simple. All you do is just, you know, you just get them to a certain level. Next thing I'm going to talk about with Pokemon cards is I'm going to talk about the rarity of them. Now, there can be, oops, there can be different types of... For the same card, like I have two Celios here, one's hollow, one's not, but that really doesn't matter. It matters about the set. So down here, next to my thumb, you probably can't see it too well, but it will say, um, it says 77 out of 111. That's how many cards are in the set. There, excuse me, I'm sorry. That's how many cards are in the set, and then down here, this one says 25 and 106, right down there. But, uh, this one's rarity is a circle which means it is a common this one's rarity is a diamond which means it is a uncommon now the diamond and the circle probably can't see them too well on camera but that's fine so now you're going i'm going to show you different types of pokemon so this is an electric i have, i use pikachu as my example Where's my other, oh. I left my other Pikachu behind, my bad. But this is my Pikachu. I have two electric type Pikachus. And these are both from different sets. This is this one's 70 of 100, and this one is 94 of 123. Now we go to this, which is a steel type Pikachu. Which in which Pikachu isn't even a multi-steel type, which is weird. This is a 79 of 110, and this is a 30. 035 Black Star promo. This one. If you don't know what Black Star promo is, that is a that is just the main card of 
like a thing, like a deck. Say you got a Don Wings Necrozma theme, not theme, but Don Wings Necrozma box, and the first card would be Don Wings Necrozma. It would be a promo. Not the first card in the pack, but this is just the card that's on it. So here I'm going to show you my hollow, reverse hollow, and normal. These are all um, uncommon, except for these two, which I'll get to when I actually get to a certain point. In this, it will be sixth and probably last in my collection that I'll show you in this probably first of about two parts, maybe three depending if so third part would be like five minutes long and that'd be kind of useless but next up well i'm going to continue on showing you my hollow and reverse hollows these are all in common and this is a clefable which is a reverse hollow um next up i'm sorry about that my sister's getting this darn cat that we have out of height out of this room because the cat's annoying so we have a clefair or clefable which is a fairy type um it also has the fairy down here this is a vaporeon which has the water down here because it's a water type reverse hollow now the hollows if you guys if you didn't know um then it's just like kind of shining the light it's hollow we have also a haunter a Wormadam, Kakuna, Electrode, Sturavia, Golbat, a Porygon 2, Glaceon, and that's it. So those are my uncommon reverse hollows. Next up, I'm going to tell you about the sets like I was telling you earlier. But this, uh, and also subsets, but these are from Radiant Collections, which is a subset, which means it's just another set inside of those packs to Legendary Treasures, I'm pretty sure. But I have a Diancy and Jirachi, which I got last year from the 2017 Mythical Pokemon event. I also got the Dark Eye Packet, or the Dark Eye Pack, which I will be showing in a little bit. Next up, I have my rare reverse hollows, and this is why I was go going to get to with these other cards. So for now, I'll just lay them down right here, just to keep them in your view. That's Town Flame, and that's Nine Tails. People didn't know that. So this is a, another reverse hollow. This is a um. This is a water type reverse hollow, so it has the, oh my goodness. So it has the water at the bottom. Might as well do this while I clean up the cards. This is a Rhyhypeer fighting type, so it has the fighting at the bottom. And finally, Simi Sage, which has the grass at the bottom because it's a grass type. Next up we have Garboder. This is a Team Plasma card. Really neat looking. It's a hollow. There are the lines there. Lupiny. Also hollow. Uh, it's a really nice looking card. We have a, um, a Manaphy. These are some really clear cards. A Snorlax. These are all rares as well. My overpowered Raichu, which has Thunderbolt, which does a hundred damage. It's also hollow. I forgot to mention that some of the hollow cards go all the way down, but this one doesn't. It stays only in the picture. And here's what I wanted to show you. So we have Talonflame, normal, move it around, it makes no reflection, in the hollow form, makes little shapes there. They sometimes do that, they sometimes do like the other ones, and we also have nine tails right after it. So nine tails goes all the way down, and it does that, but this one doesn't do a thing. So I'll put these back before I continue on. So we have the nine tails, like I just said, a shift tree, which is a really nice looking card. It has the little dots, like the shapes that, or the triangles that the talent flame had. We have a kabutops, which goes down all the way to the bottom. 
Greninja, which is a really, really nice looking card. My favorite starter in, or Froakie's my favorite starter in X and Y. And then finally a Cradley. So that's all that out of the way. I have time for probably my rares. So that will be good. I went through these a bit quicker than I thought, or maybe a bit slower, I don't know. I don't really know how long I thought it'd be. Next up, I have my collection of rares that I found. Some of these are hollow, like this Crobat. This stunt tank, it has the little orb things. This Arcanine, which is not hollow. I have a Haunch Crow, which looks, looks like it's hollow on the top, if you see there, right there. It's like it's hollow, but I don't know if it is. It, 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 sorry for my horrible speaking. It's, it's hollow. Yeah, it's hollow. Okay. It's Blaziken FB, which is actually Frontier Brains Pokemon. We have a Claydol, which looks really nice. These are all, all my rares. Take note of that. Not all of them, actually, because I will show you something else after I'm done with this. Bronzong. Roselia C, aka Roselia Champions. I think. I don't remember who that is. We have a Furret, which is weird that's a rare actually. Furret is really easy to find, or the. I, I'm pretty sure the Evolve form is really easy to find, and like Omega Ruby. I don't really know. But we have Mamoswine, which is a, another rare. It's really nice. Miss Magius. A Trio. Primeape. Loudred, Rampardos, which is a, another hollow, Venomoth, Meganium, Aerodactyl, I'm showing you a bit more of my cards, oops, a Charizard, a Mortar, Pyroar, Torterra, Staraptor, finally, Warren. So that will end off the cards for now. I will show you a few more things. I've just got to set this back up just in case I have to do this video again. But to end off, I'll show you the Latios tin again. It has that in the front. And there's Quaza, Quaza, Hoopa, and Latios. These are actually the figures for them. Um, and then down here they have that. And it tells you what you get in the box, like the booster packs and things. But one last thing before I finish this, if the camera shakes just now, I'm sorry. We, I have a huge box of cards. And I mean, like, it is massive. I have a lot of these. Um, forgot what they're called. But I have a lot of those. And I also have this, which is another huge like this box of Pokemon cards is filled almost to the brim, which is crazy. And then one more thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, which is this thing that I got for my birthday. I got a golden Mewtwo. Now this thing feels like it's made out of solid gold. It's extremely heavy. I'm sure, it's just metal pa spray painted. But it tells about the Pokemon, the length, the weight. Uh, or the height, the weight, and what it is about. So, like it tells you what Mewtwo is. It's a genetic Pokemon. It was created by a scientist after years of DNA, wait, of horrific DNA, or horrific gene splicing, and DNA engineering experiments. And we also have this. I'm trying to get it out of its case, um, but I can't get it. So that will end off this video. Just put this back down. I'll end off this video. Hope you guys had a good time watching. This is Xander's Pokemon Cards. Signing out. Goodbye.